Hello students, welcome back. This one more question is from Gate 2011 exam. They are asking, what is minimum number of D flip flops required to design a mod 258 counter? Mod 258 means this counter must have 258 different states. Okay. So if you have three flip flops and there is some combinational circuit used at, uh, at these inputs. Okay, let's not go into the details, but you have three flip-flops. In best case, these three flip-flops can produce eight different states. Okay, that is two raised to the power three. Because you will be having three bits at outputs. That means the state is defined by a three bit number. Three bits can produce maximum of eight bits. Similarly, if you have four flip-flops, You will be able to produce 16 different states. So this is a mod 8 counter. This is a mod 16 counter. We actually want to design mod 258 counter. That means we need 258 different states. With 8 bits, you can design 2 raised to the power 8. That means 256 mod 256 counter. So 8 bits are not uh, enough to get 258 states. With 8 bits, you can get only 256 states. That means let's increase the number of bits. So you actually need 9 bits. Answer to this question is 9 bits. With 9 bits, we can design such a counter. Okay, that is kind of not using 9 bits to full efficiency. With 9 bits, we can actually design mod 512 counter okay with 8 bits it is mod 258 with 9 bits in best case it is mod 512 okay anyways answer is 9 because even if we need one more uh, state one more than 256 we'll have to increase bits from 8 to 9 and shortcut for uh, finding answer to such a question is the number is 258. You just take its log and then ceiling. Okay. Its log will be 8 point something. So ceiling of 8 point maybe 01 or something 8.1 will be 9. Your answer is 9. Okay.